Greetings fellow scale modelers. This is PF Man 1 and this is my first video on YouTube. Today I'll be taking the 35th scale Tamiya T55 and using the Legends resin conversion set making it into a IDF Turan 5. I would like to thank the following people before I begin. Switcher, QDC 748A, Panzerman Bill, Cohen C, Scale Model Alberta, Tactical Jackalope, and Norm Lajoie. Without all of you gentlemen and your wonderful videos, I wouldn't have been inspired to come back into the hobby itself. So thank you very much for everything that you've inspired me to. Uh, this is the first endeavor in 15 years for me, and I'm tackling nothing less than a resin conversion, so bear with me. This is going to be interesting. We start with the Tamiya T55A, which many consider quite a good kit. I loved it. I think it's a wonderful looking kit myself. Anyways, with this kit, I have also purchased the Legends Resin Conversion Set to make it into the IDF's Turan 5. I didn't realize it, but over the years, I actually bought two of them. Not one, but two of these conversion kits, so I actually have a spare. I'm using the one in the plain cardboard box with the photograph on it over there on the left. Uh, the one on the right's a nice pretty one. There's no difference except for the box between them. So um, what I'll do is I'll actually open up the box, show you a little bit about what's inside and what I'm faced with. Opening the box, it's uh, well packed, well wrapped. There is a nice color instruction set where all the parts are clearly numbered and positioned on the final piece itself. I can say that some of the larger parts do suffer a tiny bit of resin shrink from the mold, but that's not an issue. Should be easy to fix with a little uh, filler. You do get some uh, brass wire to make grab handles and fuel lines. The uh, resin itself, nice and crisp moldings. They did a nice job on this. Nice and detailed. You get lots of uh, water cans, gas cans, ammo cans, photo etch. Oh, that's that's my doom right there. I'm very I'm not very good with photo etch at all. I'm going to be using a hold and fold and I'm going to just do my best and use what photo etch I can. There's the barrel. Uh, I found that my barrel off, out of the other box is slightly warped, uh, molded slightly warped, but that's not an issue. I just put it in some uh, hot water for a few seconds, pulled it out and molded it back. It's perfectly in shape now and uh, should make a really nice piece when you see part two of this production. Uh, zoom in a little bit, show you. There's a couple of M240Bs. I believe this is a late 70s, early 80s version of the Turan 5 since it doesn't have the uh, 30 cals from the uh, 70s. Uh, as mentioned here, you'll want a really good razor saw to remove all the uh, resin from the trees. And uh, this one by RB Productions made quick, quick work of everything. I think I was able to get everything off the molds in less than 15 minutes for that entire bag that you see there. This is number RBT014 and it's a general one. It's a rap they call it the rapid cut saw and as you could see it has a saw on both sides. The blade is both sides so you could use both sides. They are both the same. I recommend buying the handle ad adapter which is what I'm holding in my hand attached to the blade and that will attach to any small exacto blade and the big red handled exacto blade which is what I used when I removed it. Again it only took about 15 minutes, uh, made quick and easy work of it, made my life a whole lot easier. Now if I could just get over my uh, photo etch fear I call it a fear because I'm just not very good at it. I kind of a work in progress when it comes to photo etch. Anyways, uh, I also use this War Machines, I believe it's number 24 by Verlinden Productions, as my reference guide for placement of uh, certain things. And I also made heavy use of the internet. I really wanted to publish some pictures, but I didn't know if showing pictures of the actual Turan 5 is fair use or not. Images that I pick off the net, maybe somebody can tell me. Anyways, here is what I've accomplished so far. I started work on the lower hull. I uh, got all the, uh, the wheels and the tracks ready to go, but mostly lower hull work so far. 
And what you see there is all the new uh, fuel tanks that they want you to put in, the new stowage bins that they want you to put on top, the new fenders. I did have to do some minor surgery using that RB saw again, take off the old fenders, put on some Israeli style fenders. Uh, there's a new driver's hatch. You could see all the different things, a little telephone box in the back. I'll show you all the different views. Now to let you know, I use uh, standard glues and uh, super glues to put all the parts together. Uh, my standard glue, which I'll show you here shortly, is uh, 10X7R. It's a liquid glue that I use for just the styrene, the polystyrene, to put the plastic parts together. And then I use a couple of different brands of thick super glues for all the resin parts. There it is, 10X7R. I really like it. It's a liquid glue. Uh, I think it was out well before Tamiya's uh, super thin glue. And I've been using 10X for years out of a syringe, and it works perfectly for me. Uh, cleans up nice. D those uh, shiny gaps and stuff won't show once it's been primed, sanded, and painted. There's my extra power thick super glue, which I use to attach the parts. Resin, as you know, should only be attached with super glue. And then I even got some cheaper, a little bit thinner super glue that I got at uh, Harbor Freight for, I think, 99 cents a tube or less, something like that. So I got a few tubes of those to help me along the way. And, of course, Instaset. I use some kind of Instaset to make sure that this stuff dries and dries hard rather quickly, especially if I want to do large pieces in a small b build time. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Uh, in part two of this production, you're going to see the turret, the finished the finish turret prior to painting. And I'll probably also show you the primed and ready to go uh, lower hull, which I'm working on currently. So. This is PF Man 1. Thank you for watching. I hope I could keep your interest throughout the builds. It's going to be three parts. Again, thanks for watching.